Hi, this is George. In this video, we are going to see about another Nifty weekly trade as calendar ratio spread. Actually, this is uh, something very similar to a video we have seen previously in this uh, channel. This The rules are also almost the same except for the fact when we are entering and when we are exiting. When we are exiting will be always the same, that is the expiry day. But when we are entering is slightly different this here. The thing is like we will be entering on that current week on Tuesday instead of the previous week Thursday. So by this, we will be like changing the previous uh, definitions and rules on like how many strikes away we need to buy and how many strikes away we need to sell and which uh, thing we need to do, which uh, like which week we have to do, those things will change. But other than that, the, the rest of the strategies remain the same. So let's get into the video. Before that, please do subscribe to the channel and also please like the video if you didn't like it. Also, you can join the Telegram channel if you're interested. So this strategy is again a minimum loss strategy where capital liquid is only 1.25 lakhs. And in this manual back testing of almost the last six months I have given. And uh, absolutely no adjustment is needed for this. So very much suitable for working professionals and part-time traders. Disclaimer, this is only for educational purposes. Please do your own research before taking any trade. This is not a recommendation, but just my view. So as I said before, so entry is like we are entering on Tuesday instead of the previous Thursday. And when I say Tuesday, it is not necessarily Tuesday. It is just like two days before the expiry. Say, suppose if uh, uh, expiry is happening on not uh, Thursday, that is Thursday being holiday. If it is expiring on Wednesday, then we might have to take the trade on Monday. Say, suppose if uh, Tuesday is a holiday or Wednesday is a holiday, then we might have to take the trade on Monday. So exactly two days before the expiry, we are taking this trade and we are entering at 9.30 a.m. as usual. And we'll be exiting on the expiry day 9.30 a.m. for the current week. So the strategy is like we'll be buying one lot of ATM call and put in the current week expiry and we are selling two lots of 200 strikes away ATM call and put in the next week expiry. So example is like say suppose Nifty is trading at 16,300 then we buy one lot of 16,300 put and call for the current week and we sell two lot of 1600 put and two lot of 16,500 call in the next week expiry. So this is how it works. So if you see like a uh, the summary of the six months report I have given us, like uh, you can see we have made profit of 21,209 which turns out to be 17% return on investment of our 1.25 capital lakhs capital deployed and you can see like April month has given 7% return and May has not given any return and July and August have given 4 and 3 respectively and June and September 1%. You can see though May has not given any return, there were no months which has given negative return which is a very big thing and out of these 26 weeks and see 16 weeks are profitable so which turns out to be 62% of profitable weeks and overall profit and loss is like uh, as I said before 21,000 which is like average profit per week is 816 and ROI per month is 3% which is very good. So as usual we will go to the scenarios in option and I will explain like uh, how this strategy really works. So we'll get on to the best case scenario where we have made a profit of almost 6,000 in the second week of April, which because of which we have turned out to be like 7% profitable that month. So actually fourth, first week was 7th April, so second week is should be 14th April, but 14th April was a trading holiday. So 13th April was the expiry. So if 13th April is the expiry, then we will be entering on 11th of April and we'll be exiting on 13th of April. So similarly 13th of April. So here we are buying ATM call and put. 17700 is the ATM here. So 17700 call and put we are buying. And we are going to sell. Okay, let me just go to 11th of April and pay of first 80, 21st of April, here again 21st of April. So ATM is 17,700, so 17,500, two lots we are going to sell, 17,900, 200 points away we are going to sell for call option again. Now, few things we need to know before getting into this. So we are entering when Nifty, the IV of the Nifty is like 19. So now we'll see like uh, where market goes. 
you can see like as on 13th of april market went by somewhere and again it came back to almost like 15 50 points range so 17 700 so as we have bought here we are making a loss of 7000 and the IV has declined, so it has from 19 almost, it has come to 17.3, so there is a decline in IV. Similarly, this uh, next week trade you can see, if, if as market has not moved anywhere and we are in the sell side, we have made a profit of 12,985, which is what I would have given here, 12,985 and minus 1,000, because of which 5,985 we have made a profit. So you can see like as the IV has crashed, this has given us very good profit. And this has given us loss as market has not moved. So this is a scenario where we will make a very good profit. And we will see the next case scenario where maybe the worst case scenario we will see which has happened on 15th September. So we will go to 15th. If it is 15th September then we have to enter on 13th September. So 15th September it is. And here we'll be like trading for the next week of 15th September, which is 22nd September. Okay, so here ATM is 18,050. So in this we'll be buying 18,051 lot each in put and call side and 200 strikes away which is 17,850 we will sell 2 lots 18,250 we will sell 2 lots now worst case scenario is we have IV of 17.68 now now we will see where market is going after 2 days market again in this case similar to what we saw last time market has not moved even for 50 points here it has moved only like 30 points from the ATM where we have sold from 18.050 it is only 18.0754 so you can see like loss is 4500 this side which we have bought and this side as market has not moved ideally market should have given a very good return but from I 17 the IV has increased so as IV has increased this put this uh, next week premium that we have sold has not eroded because of which the profit we are getting anyway we are getting profit as because market has not moved but as because IV has increased we are not getting a very good profit so we are getting only 1405 rupees profit so which is what I would have mentioned here so these two scenarios are almost the same the market has not moved from Tuesday till Thursday or it is Tuesday or two days before expiry but here we have made a profit of 5985 which is almost 6000 but here we have made loss of 3200 so this is totally out of our hand we don't know when the IV is going to crash or when the IV is going to shoot up but if this is the strategy this is how it is going to be now we will see one more strategy one more scenario where we are making profit in both the sides which has happened on 11th of August so 11th of August actually in this case uh, we will be entering on 10th of August I will tell you because if it is 11th of August we should enter 9th of August but 9th of August was a holiday so 8th of August we will be entering sorry I was saying mentioning like 10th of August it is 8th of August we will be entering for 11th of August expiry so 11th of August expiry here again 8th of August we will enter for 18th of August expiry okay So here you can see like IV is almost 20, 17400 is the ATM, <coughs> we will buy one lot each for the current week and for the next week we have to go 200 strikes away which is 17200 will sell, 17600 will sell. Now from IV of almost 19.9 which is 20 you can see market has moved 273 points so obviously this side will be a profitable side so but as IV is has declined it is not a very good profit but yes still it is a profit of 2137 and this side again as IV has increased what has happened is like though market has moved so much 
we still make a profit of 1385. So in this scenario, you can see like we are making profit both sides. And in this all 26 week, you can see like there was, has been no week where we have made loss in both the sides. We either make uh, profit in both sides or we make profit in one side and loss in one side, which might tally up to be profit or loss depending on how much profit and how much we are loss making. But still, we don't make loss in both the sides. That is what I want to like uh, assure you in this strategy. And overall, it has given a good result for the last six months. And it is totally up to you if you want to like take this trade, you can. As for me, it is like a very good return on investment for the capital deployed. So it is a advisable strategy. It can be used according to your risk appetite. It is totally, I generally don't recommend any strategies, but this is a good strategy in my point of view. If you like this video, if you are interested, then you can like uh, take a paper trade for a few weeks and maybe you can trade live if you feel you are comfortable with this strategy. Maybe next week we will see some other strategy based video or maybe adjustment videos which people are seeing which I might try posting the next week. And also the reason I have posted and started doing research on trading, uh, taking trade on Tuesday is like many people have told like uh, we are taking trade by Thursday and we are not uh, doing any adjustment till the next Thursday. It's kind of uh, itching for us to do something and we might do something wrong and how can a trader just sit idle taking a trade on a Thursday and still wait for the next Thursday. And that is the reason I don't want to like make a entry on Thursday and wait till the next Thursday. Maybe this is like only two days so you can take a trade on Tuesday and only one day you are waiting that is Wednesday and the next day you are exiting. It is if you want you can do it's totally up to you. So again we'll see in the next week in some other video. Thank you.